So here we are, folks, with match number 48. It's the last group game of the World Cup. It's Senegal up against Colombia. So Senegal will start the match like this. Ndai in goal. Gassama, Sane, Mboji, Diame, Savier, Ndai, Mbudiup, uh, Guy, Sergio Mane, and Mamadiouf up front. As for Colombia, they will start like this. A spinner in goal, Sanchez, Arias, Zapata, Amero, Torres, Cardoso, Rodriguez, Sanchez, Falcao, and Boca up front. So here we are, folks. Match number 48. This is the final group game of the World Cup. Senegal in their traditional green jerseys. Colombia in their more familiar red tops and blue pants. Now, this match will take place in the real world. June 28th at the Cosmos Arena in Samara. The same time as Japan versus Poland in the other Group H match. Now, in our environment or in our universe, uh, that match has already taken place as there's a dirty foul by Colombia, takes out the Senegalese player. And that result between Japan and Poland ended up with a 1-0 win for Japan, which puts them top of the pops with six points. And they are through to the next round. No matter what happens here, they are through. However, on the flip side, Poland currently sit in second spot. A draw for Colombia will see them through. A draw or better will see them through. As for Senegal, they're already out. But they could upset the, uh, the, uh, uh, the balance of flux, as you were. If they can upset the odds and beat Colombia here. So Poland will be rooting for Senegal. Because if the results were to stay like this... Colombia would shade it with five points and go through as runners up. Now, we already know that Japan are through and are they through as winners? Not necessarily, not necessarily. The winners of this group will take on the runner up of Group G and that is England, believe it or not, who scrape through through one of the most complicated mathematical situations I've never known. Um, and the runner-up here will take on Belgium, who breeze through, uh, winning all three of their games. Now, if you are new to this and you've stumbled upon this uh, video uh, and you enjoy what you see, if you're a big fan of the old retro football and you like what I've done here by bringing up the, uh, the rosters of these teams to the present day and including the likes of Senegal who were never in the original game of FIFA 95. Let, me, let your voices be heard in the comment section below and also make sure you hit the old thumbs up button. It does help with the old YouTube algorithm uh, to get themselves noticed out there uh, and just to let me bring you up to speed as Senegal are trying to push for that opening goal which would send Poland through as runners up but they can't get it. But if you are unfamiliar with how everything works here, we do play two four minute halves um, and yes, I have hacked these uh, these teams to bring them up to speed. Obviously, there are other people out there who do own the simulations, whether it be with FIFA 18 or Pro Evolution Soccer 2018. But I've gone old school with my old favourite, my old trusty sidekick, FIFA 95, which I remember buying way back when in 1994, I believe. Classic game. One of the best football games of its... In fact, the best football uh, game of its generation. Real game changer. If you remember the, 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 the football games before this, a lot of it was top down the old uh, Sensible Soccer, which I used to love as well. I still actually do love a bit of Sensible Soccer. Um, you know, and the old Amiga. Oh, those were the days. Those were the days. That's when games were... Uh, uh, I could actually play games. Because if you try and play... If I try to play FIFA 18 now, I'd get my butt whipped. But anyway, we are here, and right now it's nil-nil, and that favours Colombia. They'll be happy with that. They'll take that to the bank, and they would go through as uh, runners-up. Colombia would be... I mean, sorry, Poland would be absolutely livid if this was the... Uh, they're, they're pinning their hopes on a Senegal side. They have not really, not really shown their faces here thus far. Now, these two sides, over the course of history have met one time before and it ended up as a 2-2 draw and that game was back 31st of May 2014 so both sides they have, uh, they've never lost to each other that's how how close this game this 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 fixture is this just to, just goes to show how tight this group is in the real world uh, when this match these matches do come around I do fancy Poland to go through as winners to be fair 
but I think the second spot is wide open. You could, I could, you could argue a case for Colombia, Senegal, or even Japan. I'm, I'm open to persuasion. And that is the end of the first half. It's nil-nil. So here we are, folks, in the second half of the match. And Senegal get the game underway, or restarted, should I say. Now let's just recap some of the score lines uh, in Group H thus far. As we just try to deal with this bit of attack and play by Colombia. Senegal now building from the back. It's cleared. So, uh, Colombia opened up their account in this World Cup with a 1-0 win over Japan. Current tabletop is Japan. Poland, I mean Senegal, opened up with a 2-0 loss to Poland. Who are now staring at elimination because Colombia doing the business. They're hanging on. Uh, then Senegal continued their losing ways with a 2-1 defeat against Japan. As for Colombia, they were held 0-0 with uh, early group favourites, I would say, Poland. And then hot off the press, Japan picked up that crucial 1-0 win over Poland, which puts them top of the pops at the moment. And they are looking to go through. And uh, with, a, with them topping the group, they will be challenging or they'll be taking on England. In the next round, whereas Colombia, as it stands, will be taking on Belgium. So Poland would join in the list of big name casualties from this group stage, joining the likes of Argentina, uh, Brazil, believe it or not, Brazil. Who else was eliminated? Um, Portugal were eliminated early doors. But one goal from Senegal will change it and flip it back around. But a goal from Colombia would actually t would actually boost their chances as well. They would top the group. Golly, it's, it's so it's such it's so evenly poised despite the fact Senegal nothing really to play for, just to help out their uh, Polish brethren. That's what's on the line here. No matter what happens, Senegal will finish bottom of this group. Punched long. And Colombia just doing just enough to, uh, to keep themselves in this competition. There's not been any real golden chances. And we opened up the World Cup phase with a draw, a nil-nil draw. I believe. Are we going to end the group phase with a 0-0 draw? That is another one of those tantalising questions. So as we wait for some real gruesome, juicy highlights, what are your uh, thoughts and ambitions for this year's World Cup? Who are you looking forward to see? Let me know your opinions in the comments section below. I'd like to hear from uh, your points of view. Can an African nation such as Senegal, Nigeria, Egypt, Morocco, can they actually make uh, a real dent in this World Cup and make it to like the, the deep latter stages of the quarterfinals or even the semi-finals? Can, can it be possible? I think it is doable. Um, I'm not sure who would be the more likely African nation to do so. I think Senegal have a chance, but uh, I think Nigeria probably have the the better opportunity because if they were to finish second and France have a nightmare and don't top the group then Nigeria would face you know an Australia or, or Denmark or something like that, 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 that that's a game which I think is evenly poised but anyway that's a lot of deep thought into the World Cup uh, you know bracketology or whatever because um, all those things can and probably won't happen. But right now, Colombia looking for a goal, a strike on a goal right now would we'll, we'll win it for somebody. And it's looking like it's going to end in the draw, and it is nil nil. And the match ends at nil nil with uh, Senegal looking the better side with three shots on target, just the one for Colombia. So no goal scorers, and I believe nobody in the book for the rough. Oh, tell a lie, Carlos Boca with an early yellow card on 26 seconds. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table.
Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and of course, subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.